I don't want to give it so much as my prediction, but many are expecting the winner of Group A to be the Netherlands, maybe Senegal. That's who it would be if you're finishing second in this group in the last 16. So finishing top could be pretty important, right? I see somebody's counting eggs before they hatch again. Of course. Uh, yes, <laughs> um, obviously. The, the, the one thing I would always caution again, you, you know, we talk about scenarios and so on. The World Cup is seven months away, and so many of these players could be in a completely different place right now, uh, you know, in terms of performance, in terms of who's on a high. Um, obviously, both Holland and Senegal are, are, are teams that, you know, you want to avoid, uh, and that can make a difference. Equally, if it's England that finishes second, you're still England. You're still coming off uh, a World Cup semifinal and a Euro final. You would still expect to be the favorites or against either one of them. If you're the U.S., it's a different proposition. But that's when, if it is the U.S., when Bearhalter, you know, needs to get to get smart, needs to exploit the weaknesses, needs to needs to come through things and see, all right, what's had success against these teams before? As we heard, he likes he likes to tinker, he likes to adjust to the opposition, and he likes to go and engage them. And I think that's what you need to do if you're going to go far in this World Cup. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.